What we have here is a Dell D820 motherboard. It was sent in to us because it had no power. It would power on and then turn off. So with that being said, we have, uh, we take it apart and we looked at it and uh, we see that there's edge bonding on the Intel chips. Those are Intel GPUs. As stated before, ATI chipsets and NVIDIA chipsets are not the only chipsets that have issues. Now when we flip this motherboard over, we see that there's actually edge bonding on the Broadcom chipset. Uh, and that Broadcom chipset has uh, edge bonding on it due to uh, a belief in the failure because that's an SMD uh, chipset too. So when we took a look at this motherboard that we took apart, we saw that there was uh, water damage to it, but that water damage was only uh, to the keyboard, it wasn't to the actual motherboard. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this on, let it heat up, and then after we let it heat up, we're going to uh, reflow these chipsets and test it, make sure that it works. Uh, most likely it'll come back on but uh, we'll know something in about five to 10 minutes. As stated earlier, we were gonna test this motherboard. So now that we have it reflowed and everything is cooled down, what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug the battery in and we'll test it. One-handed, one moment. So this is going to turn on the uh, laptop, and there you have it. Video and the Dell system logo, pretty faint, but uh, what we have here is an actual working system. The reflow worked.